Hello and welcome back to another video. Today I'll be showing you how to add and use Font Awesome icons in GIMP. All right, so Font Awesome is just going to be a library of font icons that are accessible via the Font Awesome font. I'll show you how that works a little later on, but first what you're gonna need to do is go to fontawesome.com download. And that'll take you here to the downloads page. And below here, you'll see it says the current version of Font Awesome and then for the desktop. I'll click free for desktop because I'm just gonna go with the free version here. It's going to download a compressed or zipped folder to your computer, so click save. And you'll see the download status up in the top right. So once that's done, just click show in folder. And here you'll see your zipped folder, so just right click on that and go to extract all. It's gonna ask where you wanna extract these files to your computer. Come over here and click extract. There's gonna be around 2000 items at the time of this tutorial, so it'll take a minute or so. I've already downloaded this, so I'm just gonna click cancel. And once the download is finished, it should look something like this. It'll be this folder. So just double click to enter that folder. And now you're gonna get these files in here. The file that we're interested in is the OTS file. So we'll double click on that. So you've got three fonts here. You've got Font Awesome 6 Brands Regular. That's going to contain the icons or logos of well-known brands like PayPal, Facebook, Twitter, that kind of thing, as well as some fictitious brands like Pied Piper for those of you who watch Silicon Valley. You've also got the free regular font or the free solid 900 font, which is going to be the heavy versions of these icons, which you'll see momentarily. But what you have to do is select all of these and then right click and go to install. So you're just going to install this the way you would any font. I've already installed these, so I'm getting an error message here. I'll just go ahead and click no because I've already got these installed. So once they're installed on your computer, now you're going to open up GIMP. If GIMP was not open already while you were downloading those fonts, they should all be inside of GIMP now. However, if GIMP was open, you do have to refresh the fonts. So click on the text tool here in the toolbox, click on fonts, and then click on this icon here, open the font selection dialog. So inside this dialog towards the bottom, you get this little refresh arrow. We'll click that. That will refresh the fonts. And now you should see the three font awesome fonts in here. So you've got free heavy, free, and brands. We've got the fonts installed, but now we need to know how to use them. So what you need to do is type the name of the icon that you want to display in the text field. So you do need to know the names of the icons. Luckily, there is a cheat sheet for Font Awesome. So let's open up that cheat sheet here in the browser window. So from the downloads page, you'll see a link here, get started on the desktop. We'll click that. Scroll down to where it says install the ligature based font files. So you'll see some links here under icon style. So solid, regular, and brands. And you'll see it says free plans for all three of these. So this is where we're gonna find the list of all of the available icons. So let's start with brands. I'm gonna click that link and just come over here to the new tab. So here are all the available icons that will display with Font Awesome with the free version. So you should see some logos here that you guys might recognize. There's that Pied Piper logo, you've got YouTube's logo, Twitch, etc. So you have to type the names of these icons exactly as they display here. So if you wanted to use this logo, you have to type Y-Combinator. And once you type that whole thing, the Y-Combinator logo will appear. Same with the WordPress simple version here. So let's just show that in action. Let's come over here to GIMP. So with the text tool active here, we can come over to the tool options and make sure you have this set to Font Awesome 6 Brands. So you can either type all that out or just search here inside of the font list. Make sure you have the Brands one selected and make sure that all of these options here are set to zero. If you have anything here, like if you have the line spacing set to five, this will not work. So make sure this is set to zero. And I also recommend setting the color using this option here. You'll see why momentarily, but let's just come over here and click on our composition. And now we can type the name of the brand, so WordPress, and you'll see it will automatically display the WordPress logo. If I type dash and then simple, now we have the WordPress simple logo. So you do have to type out the full thing to get the actual logo that you want. And then let's just delete all that. Make sure we delete that E. Another one was pied dash piper. So once you type all of that, it will display the pied piper logo. So that's the brands version. Let's come over to the free regular. So let's just 
come back here to the page that had the links here to the different available icons. So we'll click on regular this time. So here's all the free regular fonts. So you can see all the names of these. And let's just say we want to do the handshake logo. So I'm going to minimize that. So what you have to do, I recommend coming over here and changing the font in the tool options. You can do it right here, but it's going to basically get complicated and it's going to glitch a little bit. So I recommend coming over here and just go with the font that's labeled Font Awesome 6 Free. Click on your text box here and let's type out. So when we type hand, you'll get the hand icon shake you'll get the handshake icon. And if you wanted to change the size of this, come over to the tool options and just change the size value to whatever you want. Or you can go with the color option here. If you want to change the color, click OK. So you're not going to scale this using the scale tool. You want to scale it using the font size. If you scale it using the scale tool, it will discard the text information and destructively scale this up and it'll start to look pixelated. So it will lose quality. All right, so let's go with one last example. So let's just come over here to the free heavy version. So you can see we still get the handshake, but now it is that free heavy version instead. And we can come back here, click on the solid link. So here you can see some examples. So let's go with a cool one. Let's just go with this one here. So if we type, let's delete all this truck dash fast. Now we get that icon. So that's how Font Awesome works inside a GIMP. It's very similar to Unicode characters. You may remember my tutorial on that subject. This, at least, you can kind of remember the names of things and just type them out using Font Awesome. So a very convenient and very intuitive way to use modern icons. All right, so that's it for this tutorial. Hopefully you liked it. If you did, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and click the bell icon to be notified each time I have a brand new tutorial. You can check out any of the links to my resources in the description of the video. But thanks for watching. Watching, and I'll see you next time.